everyone, welcome. Today I have done this beautiful Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial using some fabulous products from strawberrynut.com. So if you want to see how to create this beautiful Kylie Jenner inspired look, just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is apply a good moisturizer to your face, which I have already done, and that helps the foundation application go so much smoother. And the next thing you're going to want to do is apply your foundation or your favorite tint and moisturizer, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be applying with a brush and just buffing it in all over my face. I'm also going to get my hair out of the way just because I really don't like doing my makeup with my hair in my face. So once we're at this stage, it is time to conceal any blemishes or under eye darkness if you have any. So I'm just going to use one of my favorite concealers to do that. So I personally have some darkness in here and then right under here and again on that outside corner. And again, I'm using a brush to blend out my concealer. You can use whatever you like though. I know a lot of people prefer their fingers for their concealer. So as you can see, that concealer has just helped to brighten up my face that little bit more. Now it's time to go in and set the makeup into place with a powder. I'm going to be using the Ultra Flesh Powder, which is a great little compact because it comes with a big mirror back in here and that's great for on-the-go touch-ups. And it also has a plastic thing that keeps any of this nastiness from getting all everywhere in your handbag. So just a little bit in the center of my forehead where it might look a little funny to have a lot of shine. I've also dusted it along the cheek because I'm going to be putting some bronzer there later on and if you set it with powder before using a powder bronzer, it helps that powder to just glide over better. On my eyes and underneath them, make sure that concealer stays in place all day and night. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm just going to fill mine in a little bit and make them a little bit stronger and darker just because Kylie Jenner's hair color and everything is a little bit darker than mine. So I'm just going to use an eyebrow powder and a little angled brush to fill them in. Use whatever application method you best prefer or if you have great eyebrows, you can skip filling them in entirely. Let's move on to the fun part, shall we? And start on these beautiful eyes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is apply a white cream colored shadow all over my eyelid and also on my brow bone. The next thing I'm going to be doing is taking this beautiful eyeshadow from Benefit and it's one of their silky powder eyeshadows and this is in the shade Shallow. It's very warm, it's very neutral and it's just going to help bring some life and depth into this crease. So I'm just going to take a tiniest bit of this on, the, on a fluffy brush and work this into my crease area. These eyeshadows are so creamy and buttery, it's amazing. Apply this right into the crease and also a little bit on this outer corner right here. As you can see, that's just provided a nice touch of warmth to the eye look and giving my crease a little bit more definition. And also with that same shade, I'm going to take it on a smaller fluffy brush and run it underneath my eyes just to define that lower lash line as well. Next, I'm taking another Benefit eyeshadow, and this is in Soft Shoulders. So it's just a slightly deeper brown, still matte, because we're working with all matte shadows today. And this is going to provide me a little bit more depth in that eye area. So on my smaller brush again, because I want a more controlled application, I'm going to apply this on the outer third, almost in a V shape on that outer corner. And then just slightly bring it into the crease. These shadows are literally so creamy, it takes no work at all to blend them out. Of course, again, on the other eye, we don't want to be walking around with two different eyes, do we? <laughs> and again, taking that slightly deeper shade and running it along that lower lash line to really mesh both the top and lower lash line together. So what you're going to want to do next is take any black eyeliner you have and line your upper lash line. So I am just tracing in between my upper lashes and then taking the deepest shade of brown we're going to be using and this is called Getaway from Benefit as well. Taking that eyeshadow on a little angled brush again and we're going to soften out that black line so it helps diffuse it and the deep brown chocolatey color will still give it drama but it won't be so harsh and black. I'm just going to elongate my eye a little bit by pulling that eyeliner out just slightly past my eye. And then you're going to want to connect that deep brown shade with the lower lash line just on about the outer quarter of that lower lash line and join up on that outer edge just so it kind of meets right there and makes kind of like a V right on the outer shape of your eye. Now you can go back to that lightest shade, shallow, that we use first through the crease. Just go over any edges, any harsh lines, make sure everything's exactly how you want it, just like that. That's the next step. You're just going to apply coats and coats of your favorite mascara.
And of course, don't forget to hit those lower lashes as well. You don't want to forget about those. Just like that. So use your favorite matte bronzer and all you're going to do is instead of bronzing your face or kind of sculpting or contouring your face, you're just going to apply it where you would typically apply blush. So along that cheekbone and on the apple of your cheek. The reason I really love this kind of look is because it's perfect for anyone of any age because all of the colors we use on our eyes and pretty much every single shade of everything we use has been matte. And matte colors are really, really great for everyone. So whether you're super, super young like Kylie or older and more mature with, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, we all get them eventually. Um, matte colors really do flatter those and they don't settle into lines and make them look more accentuated. And for Kylie's lip color, to any sort of neutral, earthy, nude shade, I'm using a brownie nude lip pencil. I'm just going to line and fill in my lips with this. Just like that, so a really browny, nudey, matte lip. If you don't have a lip pencil this color, which lip pencils tend to be matte, but you do have a lipstick that's a little bit sheeny, fear not, go ahead and use that kind of shiny lipstick. And then taking our Ultra Flesh face powder that we used all over the face, you can take that powder and push it over your lipstick if it's not matte or if you want to make it even more matte. And then you'll have sort of a DIY matte lip look. At this point, it's time for me to take my hair down because we are finished. So I really hope you enjoyed this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.